Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our second lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called formula and variation. So we are looking at our example number 4, which is a past KCC question done in 1995, paper 1, question number 6. So the question reads that the volume V is given by this equation. So we are told that um, uh, V uh, is equal to 2 over 3. So this is 2 thirds uh, pi r cubed, pi r cubed, then into brackets, we are having 1, then over uh, s c squared, then minus 2. Then you are being told uh, to express c in terms of pi r s and v. So in short, they want us to make uh, c the subject of the formula. So for us to achieve that, I'll start by eliminating the brackets. So I'm going to open the brackets on the right hand side so that I'm going to have a V being equal to. So this is the same as saying 2 over 3 uh, pi r uh, cubed, then of course multiplied by uh, 1 over s c squared. Then of course um, plus, so this will be a minus uh, because plus 2 over 3 pi r cubed times negative 2 you are going to get a negative, so we have uh, a negative 2 here being multiplied with a 2 over 3 pi r cubed, 2 over 3 pi r cubed. So if I simplify, I'm going to get the following, so v uh, will actually be equal to, so this one will give me uh, 2 pi r cubed, so I'll have 2 pi uh, r cubed, then divided by a 3 multiplied by sc uh, squared, I'm going to have a uh, 3sc uh, squared. So this will be 2 pi, uh, that is 2 pi r cubed, then divided by 3sc squared. Then minus, on the other side, negative 2 by negative 2, I'll get a negative 4. Then of course, divided by uh, 3, then we have pi r cubed. So this will be 4 by 3 pi r cubed. Then I need to eliminate the fractions. The easiest way of doing that is to multiply through the LCM. Of course, the LCM will be uh, 3 uh, SC squared. I also multiply this with the LCM, which is uh, 3 SC uh, squared. I also multiply this with the LCM, 3 SC uh, squared. So this is uh, going to give me, so I'm going to have uh, 3, uh, 3 SC squared times V. I'll simply get uh, 3 V. Uh, 3v, uh, then sc squared, which is equals to, uh, so 3sc squared is going to cancel with uh, 3sc squared, so that I remain with 2 pi, so 2 pi r cubed, so this is 2 pi r cubed, then of course minus, uh, the 3 and 3, they are going to cancel out, so that we remain with uh, 4 pi, uh, 4 pi r cubed, then of course we still have uh, sc squared, we have sc squared on this side. Then since they want us to make c subject of the formula, I'm going to ensure that the term having c uh, remains alone and it is positive. So to achieve that, I'll take this term to this side, then I take this other term to uh, the opposite side. So uh, this is going to give me the following, so I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get so I have, um, if this one moves to the right, to the left hand side, it will be a positive. So I'm going to have 4 uh, pi r, so this is 4. Uh, remember, we also have uh, a c squared uh, on the other side. Uh, so I'm simply going to retain uh, one of the terms on the other side. So this one should not actually move to this other side. So I'm going to have, uh, so this will give us uh, 3 uh, v s c squared, s c uh, squared then if this one moves to the left it will be a positive so i'm going to have plus uh, 4 then pi so this will be 4 pi then we have uh, pi r cubed uh, s c squared s c uh, squared then from there of course on the other side i'm going to have this so this one on the other side i'm still having 2 pi r cubed so this is 2 pi r cubed so this is a uh, 3v sc squared plus 4 pi r cubed uh, sc squared is equals to 2 pi r cubed then since i need to make c subject of the formula i'm going to factor it out so that i'm going to remain with the uh, c squared then into brackets if i factor out c squared from this term i'm going to remain with 3 v s 
So this will be 3vs. If I factor c squared from this term, I'm going to remain with uh, plus 4, uh, plus 4 pi, uh, pi r cubed uh, s, then of course being equal to uh, 2 pi r cubed, 2 pi r cubed. So if I divide through with the, the term that I'm having in the bracket, so I'm going to divide through by 3 uh, v s, then of course plus 4 pi r uh, cubed s, then I also divide the other side with the same term, so this is 3 v s, then of course plus 4 pi r uh, cubed s. So this is going to give me the following, so of course this term will cancel with this, so I remain with c squared being equal to uh, 2 pi r cubed, 2 pi r cubed, then the whole thing divided with uh, 3 vs, 3 vs, then of course plus uh, 4, plus 4 pi r cubed s, 4 pi r cubed s. So I can actually factor out s from the denominator because it is common, so it means that this can be rewritten as uh, 2 pi r cubed, then the whole thing divided by, since s is common, I can factor it out, so this will be s into bracket, uh, we, get, we are going to have uh, 3v, uh, so this will be uh, 3v, so I'm going to get a uh, 3v, then of course plus uh, 4 pi r squared, that is pi r cubed, since I've factored out uh, s. So I'm going to uh, get my value of c uh, being equal to, so this is what I'm going to get. So remember, because it is a c squared, I'm simply going to uh, square root uh, on both sides. So I square root this side, I'm also going to square root the right hand side. Then the square root of a number is always either a plus or minus. So it means that the value of c uh, will actually be equal to the root of uh, so this will be the root of, of course it is plus or minus, uh, the root of uh, 2 pi r cubed, the root of 2 pi r cubed, then divided by, uh, we have s, then into uh, 3v, so this will be 3v, then of course plus uh, 4 pi r cubed, 4 pi r cubed. So this will be our final answer for, uh, that is c, so that will be our c. Then um, we move to our next example, which is our example number five, which is also a past KCC question done in 1996, paper one question number 14. It reads that make V a uh, subject uh, of the formula T is equals to a half M into U squared minus V. So for me to achieve that, I'll start by eliminating the fraction. Therefore, I multiply both sides by two. So I'll multiply this side by two. I also multiply the other side by two so that the two and 2 can actually cancel out. So I'm going to remain with a 2t, so 2t uh, being equal to, so I'm having m, then of course into uh, u squared, then minus v squared. So if I open the bracket on the right hand side, I'm going to get uh, m u squared, uh, m u squared, then minus m v squared. So the question wants me to make v subject of the formula, therefore I'll take v to the other side so that it becomes uh, positive. I'll take it to this side so that I'm having um, mv squared. So this is mv squared is equal to uh, mu squared, then of course minus uh, 2t, mu squared minus 2t. If I want to remain with v alone, I'm going to divide through by m. I also divide this other side by m so that my m and m is going to uh, cancel out. So this one means that v, uh, v squared will actually be given by uh, mu squared, then of course minus 2t, then divided by m. So if I want to get the value of uh, v, I'll simply take square roots on both sides. So I take square root on this side. I also take square root on the other side. So the square root of a number is always plus or uh, minus. So this is plus or minus. Therefore, um, if uh, let me separate uh, my workings here using a line this way. So it means that actually the value of v, so the square root of uh, v squared will just be v. So that means v uh, will be equal to plus or minus uh, the square root of, so this will be plus or minus the root of uh, mu squared, then of course minus 2t, then of course divided by 
m divided by m so this is the first possible um value of v or we can also choose to um that is uh, to divide the numerator with the denominator so this is also the same as saying v is equals to plus or minus the root of uh, plus or minus the root of i can write it uh, this way i can write it as uh, m u squared then divided by m then of course minus 2t uh, then divided by m so that my m and m can actually cancel out so this one and this one can cancel out so it means that the other possible uh, value of v will be equal to plus or minus the square root of uh, the square root of uh, into bracket u squared so this will be u squared minus 2t uh, 2t over m so these are the possible uh, solutions so either this one or this one here both should be acceptable then we move to our example number six which is also a past cases equation done in 1997 paper one question number 13 which reads that uh, given that y is equals to so we are given that y uh, y is equals to b minus bx squared then the whole thing divided by uh, cx squared then minus a make x subject of the formula so the first thing i'm going to do is to eliminate the fraction by multiplying through uh with the that is by cross multiplying so this one will multiply with y then of course one will multiply with this so we are going to have y uh, into bracket cx squared minus a uh, which should be equal to uh, 1 times b minus uh, bx squared it will just be b minus bx squared on opening the bracket i'm going to get um uh, y c x squared then minus uh, y a minus y a which is equals to uh, b minus b x squared so we are told to make x the subject eh? so i'm going to combine the terms having x in such a way that uh, they are positive so to achieve that i'll take this term to the other side eh? then of course this one should come to the other side since it does not have uh, x so i'm going to have y c x squared if this one crosses equal sign it will be a positive uh, b x squared then on the right hand side i'm still having b then of course plus y a now x is common so i'll factor out x squared then into bracket so i'm going to remain with um if i factor out x i'm going to remain here with y c then if i factor x i'll remain with positive b therefore this should be equal to uh, b plus y a then uh I'm, I'm going to simply divide through uh, with the number that i'm having uh, in the bracket so that uh, i find uh, the value of x so dividing through by yc plus b i also divide through by yc plus b of course these two are going to cancel out huh? so x squared uh, will actually be given by b plus ya then the whole thing divided by yc then of course plus b so if i want to get the value of x i'm going to find square roots on both sides so i square root this side i also square root the uh, right hand side then the square root is a plus or minus it means that the value of x will actually be given by plus or minus the square root of so this will be plus or minus the root of b plus y a then the whole thing divided by uh, y c then of course plus uh, b so this will be uh, x uh, in terms of uh, b y a and c then um uh, we can look at our example number seven which is also a past cases equation uh tested in 1998 paper one question number eight uh we are told that given that the logarithm of y so we are given that uh log y log y is equals to uh the logarithm uh into bracket we have 10 then x to the power of n uh, we are told to make n subject of the formula so the first thing i'm going to separate 10 and um, x to the power of n remember from the laws of logarithm we say that if you have the logarithm of a then you add the logarithm of b this one is the same as saying the logarithm of uh, a multiplied by b so similarly because i have um, on this side i'm having logarithm of i have 10 this one is the same as saying 10 then of course uh multiplied by it's just the same as saying 10 multiplied by uh x to the power of n 10 to the power of x to the power of n 
so this will give me it means on this side i had uh, the logarithm of 10 then of course plus uh, the logarithm of x to the power of n just check at what is happening to those particular terms so it means i can uh, rewrite this uh, logarithm as the logarithm of y uh, being equal to this one is uh, the same as this so i'll take the logarithm of 10 then of course i add to uh, the logarithm uh, of x to the power of n so this will be given by so we also said that if you have the logarithm of a to the power of n this one is the same as n logarithm of uh, a this was also a, a, a law under the logarithm so that means i can express this one as so i'm going to have the logarithm of y uh, being equal to the logarithm of 10 then of course plus so n can actually uh, pre-multiply this logarithm so i'll have n the logarithm of x so because we are told to make n subject of the formula i'll take this term to the other side so that i remain with the term having n alone so this will be n the logarithm of x uh, will actually be equal to uh, the logarithm of y then of course minus the logarithm of 10. so this one means that i'm having a uh, n logarithm of x uh, being equal to the logarithm of y logarithm of y then minus the logarithm of 10. if i divide through by logarithm of x i also divide through by the logarithm of x then of course log x uh, log x and log x uh, will actually uh, cancel out so that i'm going to uh, remain uh, with the n actually uh, being equal to so our n will be equal to so uh, we are remaining with the n so n is actually equal to the logarithm of y so this will be log y then minus the logarithm of uh, 10 then divided by uh, the logarithm of x so this is a valid answer or you can also talk of n being equal to uh, the logarithm of remember when you subtract you have to divide uh, so this one is the same as saying y so into bracket uh, y divided by uh, y divided by 10 uh, i can group them this way then the whole thing divided by the logarithm of x so either this solution or this one are all valid answers Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. So in our next class, we'll be looking at further examples on logarithm. Until